you enjoying yourself? Yes, I am, Corey. You're very romantic, and thank you so much for taking me on this lovely picnic. Sweetie, I think I'm ready to take our relationship to the next level. Are you sure about that? Because I think we need to talk about something before we do that. Protection? Oh my god! <laughs> no! <laughs> Meiosis. Before we talk about sex, we need to talk about gammy formation. Wait, sex? Who are you? I'm Dr. Alrighty, Professor of the Year. Now, before we... Gammy formation is made through meiosis. Meiosis is a special cell division. And it can be divided into two phases. Meiosis 1, which is the reductional phase where chromosomes number half, and meiosis 2, where the equatorial phase where the chromosome number stays the same. Now let's get started. Anyone see my markers? I need my markers. I don't have about? any markers. Wait, what do you guys have in here? That's our lunch. Yeah, these will do. I'm gonna starve. Can't use those. Okay, so what are you gonna do with our lunch? Here at USF, we like to interact with our students. We like to make teaching fun. All right. That's so Dr. O'Reilly. Oh, yes, young man. Now, we can start talking about meiosis. Meiosis is divided into a couple stages, beginning with prophase 1. Prophase 1? Isn't that subdivided into five categories? Well, yeah, you can click that one in. It's my CPS clicker. Prophase Click. 1 can be divided into lipponema, psychonema, Baconema, diponema, and diakinesis. Now we're going to do this illustration with our chromosomes. We're going to be using these groups. Now chromosomes double during, chromatin double during interphase. So at the beginning of meiosis, you have the double number of chromosomes, chromatins. Now you get a two pair, and a diploid organism of 2n equals 2, you get one set from your mother and one set from your father. Now at the beginning of liponema, nuclear envelope, Chromosome numbers begin to condense. Chromosomes begin to condense. In psychonema, the sister chromo uh, the homologous chromosomes begin to pair up. And this is assisted by the enzyme septonemal complex. So one chromosome from your mom and one chromosome from your dad? Yes. Okay. Then in baconema, this is where crossing over occurs. It's now the tetrad. So you have this, yes, you have this tetrad and this crossing over occurs between homologous chromosomes, so this part of the carrot will go with this part of the banana. Is that how you get genetic variation? Yes. That's one way of getting genetic variation. You'll see multiple ways throughout meiosis. Okay. Diponema, chromosomes, homologous chromosomes begin to separate just a bit. You know, they don't, they're not completely separated yet. Okay. But crossing over has already occurred. Okay. And in diakinesis, nuclear envelope just disappears. It's gone? It's gone. That's prophase and one. that's prophase in one nutshell. Okay. I'm learning so much, I'm going to take notes. So, Dr. Arati, after prophase, what comes next? Metaphase one. Metaphase one. All right, you writing this down? I'm writing it down. Take good notes. Now, your tensors will be organized along the metaphase plate, which the cell will be used by this blanket. Okay. So, right in the middle, they'll align. Sister chromatids are, um, are in rows and they're put together. Now, this, this arrangement can be uh, random. So it could be like this, or it could be like that. It could be flip-flop. Yeah, it could be either one. Does that add to genetic variation as Yeah, well? because now one cell can be received parts from the father and one from the mother. And let's say if we had multiple copies of chromosomes, now you could do it like this. Right, okay, I got it. Now, it's important to know that sister chromatids go to one side, while homologous chromosomes will go to separate sides. Okay. So as the spindle fibers attach, Sister chromatids will always be attached together while homologous chromosomes won't. Is okay. this still metaphase? Yeah, this is metaphase. Okay. Now at the beginning of anaphase, this is when the centromeres start pulling these babies apart. Okay. Now centromeres do not divide. They just pull, they pull the homologous chromosomes apart so you'll have them separated. And that, that's it for anaphase. Now telophase, the cell will have haploid number of chromosomes on each end. Now, depending on species, some species go straight into prophase two uh, until meiosis two. Some, the nuclear envelope begins to condense again. Okay. At the tail phase, you can either you can have cytokinesis in which the cell is going to divide as into two into more cells. Two. Yes, it's going to divide into two more cells. And at the end of the cytokinesis, you have an interkinesis, which is just a short break. Uh, DNA does not replicate or anything. It's just a small little stop phase. 
So the only time DNA duplicates is in S Inter phase of interphase. Yes. Awesome. Now we can begin with meiosis two. Let's do it. All right, now we're doing meiosis two, Doctor. Yeah, meiosis two, and meiosis two begins just as meiosis one, but with prophase two. Okay. And in prophase two, all that happens is chromosomes condensed if it needs to, because as I said, some cells don't nuclear doesn't begin at telophase two. Okay. So then you go straight into metaphase two, and metaphase two, the chromosomes align, and the centromeres begin, and they attach to the uh, canonical, and then. During anaphase, they separate. So they, they break go, apart? They break apart. The canonical breaks apart, and the sister chromatids go to separate ends of the cell. I got it. it. Makes now, sense in anaphase, to me. the uh, centromere also splits, unlike in meiosis 1, where the centromeres did not divide. In meiosis 2, they do divide. Now, in telophase, the uh, chromosomes uncoil, nuclear envelope reforms again, and the nucleolus reappears, and spindle fibers, they disappear. Then cytokinesis occur, and in the end, you have four cells that are all, each haploid. All hap four haploid cells, all with different DNA information, and that's meiosis in a nutshell. Wow, that was nice. amazing. Now, now that you guys had the whole education, I think you're ready. So have fun, kids. Oh my goodness, that was really educational. What a nice educational surprise on our date, huh? I don't know if I'm ready for this anymore. I think yeah. we should wait. Yeah, me too. I agree. Where'd he go? Who knows? <laughs>